Welcome to Kippy C Math! Today we're going to add using place value. This is an extension on what we did yesterday, thinking about the money in the cash register. But now, instead of adding just one value, we're going to add a lot of values. Let's go back to our cash register drawer. Remember, at the end of the shift, the grocer can label how many bills are in each drawer. Two thousands, three hundreds, four tens, two ones. We have $2,342. Now I want to add $1,332 to my drawer. I could, if I wanted, line it up and add it in columns like maybe you were taught in earlier grades. That's totally fine. But because these numbers are a bit lower and none of the addition is going to go above 9, we can actually do this problem in our head and we want to be able to understand if other people do that way or if they represent it a bit differently because that's how they thought of it. So let's think about what would happen with the bills in the cash register drawer. Know that I'm thinking of the 2000 as 2000 plus 300 plus 40 plus 2. And I'm thinking of the 1,300 as 1,000 plus 300 plus 30 plus 2. Let's start with the $1,000 bill that needs to go into the drawer. It's going to zoom straight in. Now, this digit changed. This digit isn't $2,000 bills anymore. It's $3,000 bills. It's like I added the 2,000 plus the 1,000. Now I want to add the 300. I'm going to add that to the 300s that are already there. Watch my drawer. I add 300 and now I have 400, 500, 600. There's no longer $300 bills anymore. There's $600 bills. So there I was really thinking of 300 plus 300. You can see where this is going. I'm adding it up place value by place value. Now I add the tens plate. I had 40 and I want to add 30 more. 40, 50, 60, 70. This is 70. Instead of four $10 bills, I have seven. That's like adding the 40 plus the 30. And now I want to add two more $1 bills. I have two, three, four. Now this is four. That's like adding the two and the two. Basically, I put this place value together with this place value, right? The labels on my drawer change because I added more bills. And the order doesn't matter. I could have added the $1,000 bills first and then the ones as long as I change my digits. Let's think of it instead with these place value blocks. Here I have 2,342. I'm going to write it out in expanded form there on the bottom. Now, let's add the number. 1,332. The 2,000 and the 1,000 go together. The 300 and the 300 go together. The 40 and the 30 go together. The 2 and the 2 go together. You can look at the place value blocks and figure out this sum. What is the total amount we have now? How would I write this as a final number all put together, all the blocks? Oh, when 2,000 and 1,000 go together, we get 3,000. When 300 and 300 go together, we get 600. When 40 and 30 go together, we get 70. And when two and two together, we get four. Now let's see how our special guest thinks about it. Hi! Hi, Miss Ramish, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Introduce my name yourself. Is yeah, my name is Miss Mellows. I teach third grade at Lead Academy, Penn State, and I'm so excited to help us learn some math today. Oh, we're so excited you're here. So we have our first, like, really big addition, 243 plus 126. So how do we add that? So first off, I know I could line up my numbers with my HTO chart, and I know we're going to learn how to do that later on, but I can actually add this number pretty easily because I know that my numbers are pretty small. So I know that I have my hundreds, tens, and ones place, so I'm just going to add starting at my hundreds place. 
Okay. So I'm. Let me so draw a little thought bubble. Since we're not gonna add them up, I'm gonna just draw like what I'm what you're thinking. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I'm thinking I have a two in my hundreds place. Okay. And a one in my hundreds place. Okay. So I can add, I can press and count starting with my two, mm -hmm. and then add a one to that, which gives me three. So I have a three in my hundreds place. Okay, let me write that down. So you kind of did two hundred plus one hundred, yes. and that was a three in the hundreds place. Cool. Okay. Got it. All right. So now my next place is my tens place. So I see I have a four in my tens place and a two in my tens place. Okay. So if I do four plus two, five, six, then I have a six in my tens place. So it's kind of like doing 40 plus 20 gives me 60 and that six goes in my tens place. Okay, let me write that down. So you did 40 plus 20 is 60 with the 6. Perfect. Got it. All right. So then the last thing is my ones place. Easy peasy. I have a 3 and a 6. So I'm going to press 3 and count up 6. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 ones. So I can put a 9 in my ones place. Awesome. And that was like you were adding 3 plus 6. Wow. It's like the thinking in your head looks really, really scrambled, but you just did 369. Crazy. It yeah. looks like it's a lot, but it was super easy. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Ms. Mellows. You're welcome. Bye, guys. If all of this is feeling confusing, don't forget we can always use a place value chart. I'm going to look here and see what place values I need to add. I need to add a 3 to the hundreds place. What is going to be the new digit in the hundreds place after I add the 300? What number goes in the hundreds place? This 4 plus 3 is going to become a 7. I need to add 4 tens. What digit am I going to put in my tens place after I add the 4 tens? 5 tens plus 4 tens is going to become 9 tens. And I'm going to add two ones, so the six ones becomes eight ones. I can't forget my thousand. I didn't add anything to it, but it's still there. That's my new answer. Of course, you know Bruno likes us to show what we're thinking. So let's write this out in a little thought bubble. 2,456 is really 2,000 plus 400 plus 50 plus 6. And 342 is really 340 and 2. Now I'm just going to move these around a bit, right? I want to put this one together with this one because they're both hundreds. I want to put this one together with this one because they're both tens. And I want to put this one together with this one. So let's rewrite. The 2,000 didn't change because I wasn't adding 2,000s. Now I'm going to add 400 and 300. Next I'm going to add 50 and 40. Then I'm going to add my 6 and my 2. This is just another way of showing how we changed our digits in the place value chart. And then we still have the same pieces, they just got put together in a different order. Yay for your super brain! This is really complicated mental math and at first it might seem hard, but eventually it's going to be great because it means you can solve lots of problems quickly in your head.